Hey everyone, I have a new tag I like to do. As usual, I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but I like the tag, so I'm doing it. I saw it done by the makeup chair. Her name is Sinead, and I thought it was kind of a fun one, and I instantly knew I wanted to do it. I have written down the questions here, and I am gonna just jump into them. There are 12 questions. Number one, how long have you been on YouTube? This is the, this month is my four year anniversary. So I uploaded my first video July 15th, 2010, and I've been at it ever since. Um, number two, at what point do you think you will stop? I, my hair is a disaster. Okay, um, I don't know. I, I don't have any plans to stop. You know, things change, life changes, things happen, but right now there's no predictable end in sight. I'd like to do this as long as it's fun. That's when I'll stop, when it's not fun anymore. Number three, the best thing. Well, I get to play with makeup all day long and I can say it's my job now, but um, that, is, that is one part is there's always an excuse to buy more makeup, so that doesn't hurt. But honestly, really and truly the best thing is the people that I've met either in real life or virtually through this and um, just the connections I've made with other women all over the world. I've said it before, but it just, bears repeating, that's that's the amazing part, is meeting all the fabulous women who either make other YouTube other YouTubers or subscribers or what have you. That's been the most fulfilling and best part. The worst thing. I mean, on a, like in the scheme of things, there's no worst thing, you know? I mean, this is a fun thing to do. It's, an, it's a choice. It's not like I have to do it. So I can't really sit here and go, oh, poor me, it's so hard. No. Um, the worst thing is probably the internal pressures that I place on myself that, you know, I've set this schedule Monday, Thursday videos, Wednesday vlog videos, I've got to film, I've got to put something up. So I put this pressure on myself to make sure that I'm uploading on regular schedule, that I'm making videos that you want to watch. Um, that's probably the worst thing is the pressure I put on myself because I don't get it so much from you all out there. Although if I'm late on a video, I will get comments on my Facebook page like, I woke up this morning on Thursday and your video wasn't there, where is it? Sorry, life happens sometimes. And um, yeah, so that's probably the worst part. And then the next worst part would be the occasional not so nice comment that I get on a video or a tweet, whatever. But they're not even really that bad. And frankly, lately they've just to me been hysterical. So that's really not that bad. Oh, and what do I do? There's a follow up. What do I do to make it okay? I make a schedule, I take a deep breath, I remind myself this is all fun, this is not rocket scientist, let's not overthink things. That's generally how I, you know, I just have to take a deep breath and step back and put things in perspective. And as far as dealing with the negative comments, like I said, to me they're just, I find them laughable. Like literally I laugh out loud. And um, the other thing that I do to make that okay is I'll call another YouTuber and go, can you believe this? And then we laugh about it. How many thumbnail options do you usually take? For those of you that don't know what a thumbnail is, when my video pops up in your subscription box and there's a little still shot of me, like, or, uh, and then there's maybe some words on there, that's the thumbnail shot. And clearly, by the quality of my thumbnail pictures, I don't remember to ever stop and take them. There's so many great YouTubers out there who really are organized and approach this very methodically, and they have their products placed just so, and they remember to take a picture of it, and they edit it. So that's why 99.9% .9 of my thumbnails are like are with my mouth open because what I've done is filmed the whole video, edited the whole video and went, oops, forgot to take a thumbnail shot. So I go back and just pause where I don't look completely moronic and take a screenshot of that and then I can add my text. But usually it's like, right? Yeah, so maybe one day I will actually plan. YouTuber crush. Okay, I had to write this part out. This is the only thing I thought about. So basically, I'm just gonna go through them and maybe give you a little bit about why. So Pixie Woo, Lisa Eldridge, and Wayne Goss, because do I really need to say why? They are all geniuses. And it's not so much that I would want to collaborate with them as just be in their presence. Because I don't know what my presence would add to the collaboration, but I would just like to be in the same room with them when they film a video. So that's that. Um, Caroline Herons, I don't even know how you say your last name, Caroline. Not like she's watching my videos, but um, I just think she'd be really fun to hang out with. And um, she's a skincare guru, and it would just be really fun to chat about products with her, of skincare and beauty. And I just, 
she's another she's a mom and I don't know I just I like her personality I think it would be fun to hang out with her a model recommends Ruth I would love to go shopping with her um, although that could be incredibly intimidating to go shopping with a model maybe beauty product shopping because I would not want to wear clothes near her that's not no it's not like I want to shop naked with Ruth I just don't know if I want to go clothes shopping with Ruth Emily Noel 83 and Kristen game I would love to collab with them because like the same with the British people they would be fun to hang out with in real life and I think it'd just be fun I don't even know if we had to do anything beauty we could just go out to dinner and film that I think that would be a blast Miss May 27 Sani um, I would love to do a collab with her I don't know what the heck I could do with her but um, again more to just be in her presence and of course that would entail me having to go to Paris so that wouldn't be so bad Laura who doesn't have a YouTube channel anymore technically she's a blogger she used to be known as Lollipop26, now she writes a blog called Buy Now, Blog Later, and Simone from Simone Scribes, they're out in Dubai, and it would just, I want to be in, I want to be in Simone's vlogs. Laura's in them too sometimes, so we could just all vlog together. Uh, Michelle1218 and Lisa SZ09. Michelle is actually a dear friend of mine in real life, although we've never actually met, we talk on the phone a lot and text. Lisa I've met, and like an idiot, we just, well, we really didn't have time. Um, we never actually filmed anything together, so I think it would be great to find, to be with them in the same room and film a video. And Pretty Shiny Sparkly is a blogger and YouTuber here on YouTube, on YouTube duh. and she lives in Houston, and I just think we'd hit it off. It, I, I think I really just want to collaborate or film videos with people that I just want to hang out with in real life. And then lastly, they both technically have YouTube channels, so um, Colleen Rothschild and Zoya. I would love to... Um, go to their places of business and interview Colleen on film on camera and interview the people at Zoya and make video like that so that was a very long list but that was who that those are my YouTube that was my um, oops you know what I, I combined two it was youtuber crush and who's on your collab wish list and frankly it's the same list so there you go that's six and seven together um eight what are you wearing on your bottom half jeggings it's gonna be hot like 97 degrees, so I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm kind of bloated, and I just wanted to be a little comfy today, so I'm wearing a very loose top, and just basically leggings, so I don't have to work too hard. How long until you actually click record? So that's like, how long does it take me to set up, and get myself prepared, and get my products together, and then click record? Not long enough, apparently. Um, as long as it takes for me to turn on the overhead lights, and open the, the shade and if I'm gonna be talking about products to collect them and set them down here on this table so 10 minutes I don't have lighting or special cameras and all that stuff so maybe I should but I just kinda of jump into it it's kinda of the fun of it and I have no idea what I'm gonna say until I hit record either there's no maybe there should be some preparation I don't know 10 how do you feel about the YouTube community slash culture it depends on the day I love the viewers Generally speaking, how could you not love the viewers? I mean, that's what keeps me going. But um, some, it frustrates me to see some of my fellow YouTubers who are pursuing this solely to be famous or get rich. Like, I mean, I guess it was inevitable, but the reality is for very few of us is that going to happen. So if you're not doing this because you love it and you want to connect with other people, it just, I don't know, that doesn't make any sense to me. It's nice to have the perks, but, I mean, that part gets to me a little bit. The, the YouTubers who lately are not, I've done rants on this, but that don't disclose things and, and lie by omission to their viewers. That really, really, really bothers me. And I have nothing against sponsor, like getting paid or getting products for free, but you gotta tell people. You gotta tell them. And if you're embarrassed to tell people, then you shouldn't be doing it. Okay, that's it. Um, what's your secret to a successful channel? I mean, I have a mid-sized channel. It's, I'm creeping up on 50,000, so I don't know if I'm the first person to be able to tell you, here's what I did to be a success, because, you know, I think you hit 100,000, half a million, then you can start giving people advice, but, um, you know, I have a healthy following, I'd say, and I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. I mean, I'd say, generally speaking, be yourself, start a channel for the right reasons, and then... Make sure you have decent lighting and the background's clean. I mean, honestly, you'll lose viewers and that you, people can hear you and that your quality's decent. Um, I don't know. I wish I knew. It, it, 
there's there's no magic formula there's no secret people either like you or they don't and you're really not gonna know until you start so that's that and then who do I tag well because I personally was not tagged and I've watched a few videos lately where people that I watch that I know watch me didn't tag me and then my feelings got a little hurt which is very juvenile but I'll admit it I did I'm not tagging anybody if you're watching this you're tagged uh, assuming you make YouTube videos and if you see this and you want another youtuber to, to do it then tag them for me that is it thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye bye stopped in Ulta to buy things and somehow ended up sitting at the Benefit Brow Bar <laughs> and this is she just wiped off my makeup and I'm talking extra loud so that you don't hear the music in the background <laughs> and